In this lesson, we are going to cover working with tags in WinCC Unified. I'm going to select the HMI tags area underneath our Unified Comfort panel and expand out the HMI tags. Under the HMI tags, there is a default tag table. The default tag table is a place where your tags will be stored as they are created in the Unified system. You do have the option to add in new tag tables for organization purposes. This way you can organize your tags you know, by task. When you do have multiple tag tables in your project, you can use the Show All Tags view to display all of your tags in one big list. I'm going to open up the default tag table. In the default tag table, there is one tag that was created from a previous lesson. It is called the Clock Byte tag, and it is assigned to HMI connection underscore one. In the project tree, I'm going to open up connections. In the connections area, this is where you can see how the connection is configured to the real world PLC. Here's the connection name, HMI underscore connection one, that is assigned to our clock byte tag. I'm going to add in a new tag table, and I'm going to rename it. It is going to be called HMI Demo Tags. And then I will open up the HMI Demo Tags tag table. Next, I would like to bring in a tag from our PLC. So I'm going to expand out the PLC in the project tree, and then expand out PLC tags, and then do a single click on the PLC Demo Tags tag table. You do have the option to be able to bring in a single tag at a time, or you can select multiple tags and bring those into the HMI. Since I only have one tag created in the PLC, in the PLC demo tags ta tag table, I'm going to select that one tag, and I'm going to drag that into my HMI demo tags area. This will create an HMI tag that will point to the actual PLC tag. The tags can be configured in table editors up above, or when you have a tag selected, you can configure the tags down in the property pages. So I will select the general area, and you can see the same type of information down in the property pages that you would see up above in the table editor. I'm going to select settings. Under settings, the acquisition mode is cyclic in operation, and that's what you would typically use. The only other choice in Unified is On Demand. The acquisition cycle determines how fast this tag is going to be updated. I can select from one of the predefined cycles, or you do have the ability to create your own cycles at you know, different intervals. So this tag would update on a one second interval. I will select the range area. In the range area, you can enter in an upper range and a lower range. So I will select the drop down over on the right and I will select constant. And then I will enter in a constant value of 100 for my upper range. For my lower range, I will select a constant and I will type in a value of zero. So when I set a range between 0 and 100 on the HMI during runtime, the operator will only be able to enter in a value between 0 and 100. There is also linear scaling. If linear scaling is enabled, you can scale the value in the PLC to HMI units. So in this case, it would be like I would be multiplying the value in the PLC by 10 and displaying that scaled value on the HMI. Next, I will add in some internal tags. The first tag that I'm going to create is going to be called bool tag one. In the connection column, I'm going to change my bool tag to be an internal tag. So I will select internal tag. 